All right, might as well get it over with Sunday conclusion for round two. Now, gotta say, thought there was gonna be a lot of upsets. I was wrong, completely wrong. There were some, but there were just they won. <laughs> they they won it, and it, 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 I was shocked by that. I'm there was especially. Um, smaller schools and in the 8A um, bracket. So let's get started. Roar Christian beats Princeville 41 to 0. Am I surprised by the win? No. Am I surprised by the score? Yes. Uh, very shocked by the score 41 to 0. Lena Winslow versus Chicago Roar. Not surprised by the score. They won 49 to 14. Dakota beats the uh, Ottawa Marquette. That's one of the big upsets. I thought Ottawa Marquette was going to win the game. Uh, congratulations to Ottawa Marquette on a great season. And congratulations to Coach Free and Dakota as they win their game. Uh, Well-deserved. Now, this is a big game. Midgeville uh, versus uh, Forston. They played their butts off, and Forston still won the game. But all the kudos in the world goes to Midgeville. Uh, they proved, I think they proved a lot of the NUIC fans uh, wrong. All right. Argenta beats Fisher, not a surprise. Central beats uh, Edwards County, not a surprise. Although, again, another Black Diamond team bites the dust. Camp Point beats Carrollton, no surprise. Coach Dixon's got that team going, rolling. Uh, Concordia Triopia, I'm going to mispronounce that name again, beats Arcola. Um, yeah, I'm shocked by that score. Uh, 42 to 0. I thought it'd be a close game. I thought it'd be a, a very tight game. Indeed. Let's go two way now. All right, let's go two way. So, Gibson City beat Chicago Hope. No surprise. 31 to 7. Um, <clears throat> Sterling Newman beats Carthage. Illini West. Just going out the brackets. Orion beats uh, Rockridge. EPC, the deepest football game of the week, beats Chicago Christian headly, fastly. I was shocked by the score. I thought EPC was going to win the game. I thought it was going to be a tight game, but EPC basically crushed uh, Chicago Christian. But those boys uh, from Chicago Christian deserve all the respect in the world for what they did this season. So congratulations, Chicago Christian, Nick Cook, and uh, head coach Nick Cook on a great season. Well deserved. Uh, Decatur St. Teresa beats Athens. Tri Valley beats Pena. Merrill Forsyth beats Chester. Another Black Diamond team bites the dust. Tuscola beats Bismarck. Uh, I don't think that was much of a surprise. Uh, I thought the game was going to be a little bit more tighter, but the score of 42 to 21 is not good. Uh, let's go to 3A. Brian beats Princeton. Um, I really thought that uh, Princeton was going to get Brian some of uh, some competition, but Brian wins. Uh, they're going to go on to Lyle's. Lyle beats North Boone. I thought it was going to be a close. I, I thought that, not a close game, but I thought that North Boone was going to win the game. Was shocked. Congratulations to Lyle. The parpa train keeps on rolling. Big test for them as they go against Brian. They faced Brian, I think it was last year or two years ago. I think it was last year, if I'm not mistaken. Big game for Brian and Lyle. All right. Let's go down to Hersher. Hersher beats Spring Valley Hall. Congratulations to Hersher. Coach Wetzel, well-deserved. They beat, you, you got to give them the kudos. Uh, they're now in the quarterfinals as they take on Mammoth Roseville, who beats Eureka, 33-28. Monticello beats Anna Jonesboro. Uh, Greenville beats Pleasant Plains. Carlinville beats Paxton. And Williamsville, Williamsville beats another Black Diamond team, Fairfield. Yeah. I thought that was going to be... If I was going to be Black Diamonds here, I was wrong. So, hopefully next year. Hopefully next year. Let's go to 4A brackets. <clears throat> I see wins. Cole City wins. Congratulations to Cole City. Big one over Johnsburg. I thought Johnsburg would have the advantage. 
Richmond Burden wins, Marengo wins, Marengo, the Marengo train keeps on rolling. Congratulations to Marengo. Taylorville wins, Rochester wins, Taylorville faces Rochester in 4A. Uh, I don't think that's much of a surprise as Rochester beats Pontiac. Effingham beats Paris, a uh, big game for Effingham, a nice surprise. As they as Bishop Mack beats Murfreesboro, Murfreesboro, I'm back. again, I apologize. Effingham versus uh, Bishop Mack is a great game to look out for. I really like uh, Derek Wolf, uh, Wolf, quarterback out of Effingham. Keep an eye out for the kid. Uh, let's go to 5A. And 5A, we get into 5A, we get into talking about some of the private schools. Evergreen Park beats Elmwood Park, no surprise. <clears throat> Montini beats Sycamore in a tough game. Montini plays uh, Evergreen Park. Uh, congratulations to Evergreen Park as they make it to the quarterfinals. All right. Sterling wins. Sterling beats Chicago Brooks, no surprise there. Rockford Boylan Catholic beats Wynn St. Francis. So far, great swan song for uh, Wynn St. Francis. Good season. Congratulations to Coach McMillan and Wynn St. Francis. Hillcrest beats the Cameron Carford. Hillcrest is looking like the big dog team. Cokie uh, beats uh, Car uh, Carbondale. And congratulations to Carbondale on a well-played uh, well season. They deserve all the kudos in the world. Um, they just had a great season this season. Congratulations to Carbondale High School. Highland beats Mattoon, no surprise there, 56 to 35. Um, and they will be taking on, of course, Julia Catholic, who absolutely smashed Marmion, Marion, Marion. So it's going to be Highland, high power offense, going against a Juliet Catholic Academy. Should be an interesting game, a very interesting game. Uh, so it has some of a, sort of has a feel of a old Julia Catholic versus a Riverside Brookfield led by Otto Zeman type of game feel to it. So it should be interesting. All right. Let's get to 6A, and 6A is not that important. 6A is not that special. I don't think there's that many surprises. Terry Grove is going to take on Phillips. Phillips beats uh, Prairie Ridge. I thought Prairie Ridge would have a chance. Uh, it was a tough fought game. Congratulations to Phillips. Terry Grove beats Kalen. Simple as that. Antioch beats Lakes. Congratulations to Antioch. Niles Notre Dame beats Crystal Lake South. Congratulations to Crystal Lake South. Richards beats Yorkville. Uh, Normal West beats uh, Shepard. Normal West will be taking on Richards. Creep Boney beats Shannon Glenwood. Uh, that was sort of my pick for the, um, the dark horse was Shannon Glenwood. Uh, congratulations on a great season. And Washington beats Sacred Heart Griffin. Congratulations to Washington as Washington takes uh, goes against Creep Moni in a great game. All right, let's go to 7A. Again, 7A, this is the this is the big dog bracket that everyone know what that wants to talk about. Simeon beats uh, Lincoln Way West. Big win for Simeon. This is a huge builder for this for this next game against Nazareth Academy. Big win against an offense they have not seen. Lincoln Way West. It's an impressive win again for Simeon. Batavia beats Moline. Willowbrook beats Maine West. Congratulations to Coach Credman and Maine West. They just had a, a great season this season. Again, um, Coach Credman just building something special there for Maine West. So Willowbrook will take on Batavia. And uh, Nazareth will be going to Simeon to take on Simeon. I'm sorry, to, uh, Gately Stadium. Simeon. East St. Louis wins over uh, Glenbard East. Congratulations to Glenbard East. Coach Walters, Coach Walker, and all those coaches at Glenbard East, well deserved. They will be going against Mount Carmel. As Mount Carmel beats Lake Stark. I don't think that was much to anybody's surprise. Um, I think the big surprise was we in Warrenville South going to Hanahu and beating Hanahu. Congratulations to Coach Muhich. And they will be taking on St. Charles North, who St. Charles North. Uh, beats Rolling Meadows. So congratulations to uh, St. Charles North as the story season begins. Uh, two story seasons, actually, I like to say. We need Warrenville South and St. Charles North. But congratulations to both teams as they win in 7A. Let's go to 8A. <clears throat> All right. All right, 4A. We got Brother Rice beats OPRF. 
27 to 17. Warren Township beats Hinsdale Central. Um, what, what, what more can you say about Coach McNulty? He is working his magic. Um, that team is believing in something. It's going to be a great game as Warren Township takes on Brother Rice. Let's go to the next game. All right. Homer Flossmore beats Barrington. I don't think that was much to anybody's surprise. Uh, Homer Flossmore is looking really good. But they take on Chicago Maris, who's on a hot streak right now, as they beat Naperville Central in a close-fought game. Um, at home at Flossmore, it's going to be a very interesting game. I'm going to give the I, – I still like the slight edge of our Chicago Marist. That's just my personal feelings. Lincoln Way East versus uh, Glenbard West. Lincoln Way East smashes Glenbard West, and they go uh, – they will be heading uh, – they'll be going against uh, Edwardsville, sorry – as Edwardsville comes up uh, north and goes uh, takes on Lincoln Way East, it should be a great game. As you got uh, two high power offenses going against each other, and talented group of, and a talented group of players as well. Uh, Lyle Academy uh, beats Oswego again. No one surprise. Maine South goes to Wabonzi Valley deep this football overtime game of the week. Uh, beats Wabonzi Valley, so Maine South versus Lyle Academy again, big game. As we talk about this whole week, uh, Deep Dish Football Game of the Week is Marengo versus IC. Uh, Deep Dish Football Overtime Game of the Week is St. Charles North versus Wheaton Warrenville South. Uh, Deep Dish Football Live Thursday at 8 p.m. on Facebook Live. Please follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Also, uh, Matt Lemming Prep Insider Showcase. Uh, still looking for more kids. Uh, they we have they had uh, Matt Lemming has over uh, thirty coaches confirmed for the Matt Lemming Prep Insider Showcase. Should be a great time. Can't wait. Uh, be fun. I'm sorry, thirty staffs so far. So it should be a fun one. Uh, and if you have if you like my work, feel free to leave a tip via PayPal on the PayPal uh, a link I will have on the bottom. Thank you so much. Uh, we get into quarterfinals now. So here we go.